casual grease fire in an RV. You might think that the like number twos are the worst part about off grid. It's definitely the pee. Pee is so gross. I slept horribly last night. I think I just started to feel really, really dirty because I haven't showered in so long. You guys, my scalp just, my hair hurts. How many days do we have left? Well, good morning, adventurers. Good morning from an almost wanting to be spring day here in Utah. You guys know when we were building Clementine, we built the most badass capable off-grid machine imaginable. This baby has solar panels, we got a 300 amp hour battery bank, composting toilet, propane tank, a 40 gallon water tank, a gigantic 12 volt fridge. Okay, so maybe she's not that hardcore, no. but we did build her with the intent to be able to go off the grid if we wanted to. But up until now, we've only done it for a couple days at a time. But the question is, how long could we really last? That's right, we're doing the ultimate off-grid test. We're gonna see if we can survive one full week off-grid in our RV. Can you tell how excited I am <laughs> to do this? This is my idea to do this. She is not so happy about no, it. No, because that means no power, no water, no sewer, no internet, and maybe the worst thing, no shower. My hair, my body, <laughs> what will it, what will happen a week? We don't really have to go without internet though, do we? I mean, if the campsite, if we have signal at the campsite, we're making the rules here, you know, Maybe we'll see I'll what happens. Maybe I'll be on the internet. I think it's gonna be a wacky wild week with a lot of ups and a lot of downs. <laughs> but first things first, we have got to gear up. We gotta get some supplies. The plan is to stay off grid for the entire week. So that means we're not gonna be going to any stores during this trip. So we are going to Walmart to stock up. Plus there's something very special that we wanna get that they kinda only have at Walmart <laughs> in this area. Yes. All right y'all, I'm on the hunt for the perfect DVD, the DVD set. I think I scored. Final Destination, by Film Collection, Undead Collection. It's got a bunch of vampires and zombie movies on it. Exactly what you wanna watch when you're alone in the desert at night. Since we're gonna be attempting to not have internet, we figured we'd get a bunch of offline entertainment. So that means DVDs for dirt cheap and we need to get a DVD player. Plus, we got a Nirvana CD for Ruby. <laughs> and it's got the greatest hits. Scoring right and left. Score! I didn't know I was gonna score today. <laughs> What do you guys think? Would this last us the entire week? <laughs> you could work out with this thing. <laughs> we'll stick with something uh, a little bit more manageable. <laughs> Our plan for the week is to not eat out anywhere, not go to any grocery stores or anything like that. So we had to stock up and get every single meal, snack, beverage, whatever we want for an entire week. Where the heck are we gonna put all this in the RV though? I don't know, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> A bad place to start our first night off grid, huh? And we arrived just in time for this beautiful sunset. Yeah, Ooh. it was just making the rock faces over there glow. So we're just about 20 miles or so north of Moab right now. We're in the Lone Mesa campground. This is actually a more developed campground. It doesn't have any utilities or anything like that. So it is primitive camping, but it does have designated spots. We really want to do some of the less developed sites in the area, but we're, we figured we'd start it easy for our first night, huh? Maybe tomorrow we'll go out in Ruby and scope out the rest of them. But man, it has gotten so freaking windy. Holy cow, woo! Yeah. Do you think every day is going to be like this? I don't know now, because I oh, can't yeah. look at it. <laughs> well, the sun is just about down. We're going to get settled in, hunkered down, turn our heat on most importantly, and make some dinner. Off-grid adventure starts now. Yay! Day, day one. number one. <laughs> it's all gravy from here on out, right? Yeah, we're counting this as day one, you guys. <laughs> all right, let's go. Where are you going? The door is this way. <laughs> All right, the official first meal on our week off grid, it's french fries and salmon. <laughs> These were leftover french fries from the other day. But see, this is one of the things we're worried about. Like when we use the oven, obviously you're using a good bit of propane, but we have a suspicion that a almost full tank should last like uh, three, four, five days. If not, we have some firewood, so we'll just start a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cook everything like they did in 1883. Well, we've got kind of a janky setup for our DVD player because we had to like hardwire everything into the projector, but it works. Open. And it talks to you, apparently. Guess what the first movie is we're going with? 
30 Days of Night, starring Josh Hartnett. It's extra appropriate because, y'all, there is zero moon outside. It's just us and the stars and a lot of darkness. You guys, I absolutely am in love with our projector setup here. It's like you're in a freaking movie theater. We've got the surround sound speakers here. You've got the big screen. All right, now, if you please, it is time for dinner and a scary movie in the middle of the pitch dark in the middle of nowhere in Utah. Did you hear that? Somebody out there? I already don't like it. Acting. Bad acting. Bad acting. <laughs> but acting nonetheless. And play. Play. <laughs> We decided to come outside and check out the stars. We just watched that 40 days of night and now we're just like staring off into the nothingness. But the wind has died down so now it is like super quiet. I'm not very good at like the uh, star photography but I did try to get a couple long exposure shots. I think it looks pretty cool. Man, you can see so many freaking stars. I can't even believe it. It really does make you feel itty bitty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to bed. Okay. Before the weird uh, vampire zombie creatures get us. What was it? Oh God. Did you hear that? I'm over it. Okay. <laughs> Breakfast is served, y'all. We're just rocking out to some Betty Who. If you haven't listened to Betty Who, give her a listen. She's freaking awesome. <laughs> Do you guys ever hear all of our music recommendations and just think we're the most random people <laughs> ever? There's some country artists we like. There's rap that we like. There's hardcore death metal that we listen to. Yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, Justin Bieber. So there you go. <laughs> Who says being off grid doesn't mean you can't make a delicious gourmet meal? We made our sweet potato hash, which is our favorite breakfast item. And this is not a bad view to wake up to. We've just got the pristine red rocks over there. Not a soul in sight for miles and miles. But a lot of wind, you guys. The wind has gotten pretty freaking violent. Island. We kept waking up thinking that people were attacking the RV or something because when a big gust goes by, the whole thing goes like this. We both woke up in a panic thinking we didn't set the parking brake and that we were just gonna go rolling. I literally got up in the night and was like fiddling with it trying to check. <laughs> something today but this wind has other plans at the very least we are gonna go scout out a proper campsite for the night so we're gonna disconnect Ruby and then go check it out oh, it hurts. so just about a couple miles down the road you drive down this dirt road in the middle of nowhere and there's a bunch of primitive campsites. The tumbleweeds are out in full force. <laughs> I can't believe there's anything left actually in the earth. It seems like it's all tumbling. <laughs> but we're on this dirt road right now, which is the one we really wanted to camp on, but it's kind of rough. Yeah. Sometimes I could probably make it, but we're still kind of determining exactly where we're going to take her. This spot is at the end of the line. It is pretty cool, but you can see it is all rocks and I just don't know about getting Clementine anywhere in this stuff. Okay, we have successfully... Whoa! Jeez, that freaking wind. We have successfully scouted out a spot uh, that is a more primitive spot. And it does turn out this spot is actually a paid spot. So we did have to pay a little bit for last night. So we kind of failed already. But we're going to be completely free from this point out. No one else is there and it should have an epic view, maybe even more epic than this one, but just as windy. All right, this is our new home. But yeah, so we didn't really get to go out and do too much stuff today because as you guys saw, the wind is like unbearable out there. And then there's a kind of a weird storm front moving in. The plus side is this spot is freaking beautiful. So we're just kind of taking it all in, chilling, relaxing. It's like a little vacation, right? I'm just looking at this. We've got the whole week to go out and explore. The wind should die down. We do have plans though, you guys. Did you put the parking brake on this time? Oh yeah. Now we're on top of a cliff. So parking brake, very much on. <laughs> <laughs> So a week is obviously a long time to be off grid without access to anything. One of the things we were most worried about running out of was food. So this is what we have done to combat this. Obviously we got the essentials, beer, wine, coffee, but seriously, we did get a lot of food. So we have a mix of fresh and packaged meats. We've got a lot of vegetables, fresh fruits, and then 
water. I think we have one more of these in Ruby. We'll see if this is gonna be enough for the seven days. I don't know, we're already kind of low, so. Yeah, we normally get the big jugs, but they didn't have any of those. But we have nowhere to put all this stuff, so. You know, a lot of this goes in the fridge. We're just doing this for the shot, but a bunch of it has just been sitting right here. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's how it will be until we eat it. Of course, the next obvious difficult thing about staying off grid is what do you do with all the waste? <laughs> the human waste, if you will. <laughs> well, you guys might already know we have a compost toilet. We actually really like this design, but it does come with some challenges. So you have the compost in the back and we actually usually use that for like one to two months and we use it sparingly. Like if you have a restroom to use, you can just use that. But there's a trick to that. We actually don't put toilet paper in there. That's the key. We have have these little doggy bags that we put the toilet paper in then we seal it up and put it in the trash sorry if this is tmi you guys that's by the way tmi <laughs> yeah. but but this is helps real. a lot so the number one goes into this tank we have two of these tanks so basically when this gets filled which is about a day we take this, set it aside, put a cap on it, and then put another one in. Then when they're both filled, we take it and dump it somewhere. We always felt a little bit weird about dumping these just kind of like out in the wilderness. So we usually end up looking for a toilet or something. And there's actually a lot of pit toilets around here that we're probably gonna dump them in instead when they fill up. Another thing we were really worried about is when we're not out exploring, how are we not gonna lose our mind from boredom? But y'all, I think we have that covered. As you saw, we have our epic collection of DVDs right here. We're also really into cooperative board games. So we have a few of these Unlock series. We've got Spirit Island. And then Allison got a little cat puzzle. <laughs> well, because Eric has his, what do you call that, a game? Boy, it's a called switch. a switch. A switch. <laughs> Come on. You guys, you do not play games other than board games. I don't know. Y'all, this is paint by numbers, which we have never tried in our entire yeah. lives. And it's a really complicated one. It's like really detailed and you got, you got these really fine tip brushes. So we'll see how that turns out. Geez, how about these wind gusts, you guys? You guys, can you see that the RV is shaking? We keep thinking it's dying down. Jeez. And then this happens. <laughs> and I can just see that cliff out of the corner of my <laughs> yeah. eye. I don't Parking brake is on. Okay. <laughs> We woke up to a nice little surprise today, you guys. There's a herd of cows just like moseying right next to the RV. Oh, <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> well, he came out of nowhere. <laughs> kind of scared me. Oh. <laughs> Are you filming? Yes, I am. <laughs> Day three is a bit of a bust. As you can see, this place has gotten, it's just turned into chaos, I guess. The wind is still howling outside. It's been raining a bit. It's just gross. We did wake up to some snow on the ground though. <laughs> it snowed last night, but today is more just like, being hunkered down, living in our little RV in the middle of the desert. What did you do? I'm making you breakfast! Oh my god, shut up! Ah! Oh man, that is the most obnoxious smoke detector I've ever heard in my life. Hey, it works! I think there was some grease on this pan that I didn't realize. <laughs> Just a casual <laughs> grease fire in an up. RV. Yeah. You guys might have noticed our trash is getting a little out of control. We really don't have anywhere to put it. I think we're gonna bag it up pretty soon and try to find a trash. <laughs> yeah, sadly our trash can is only this big, yeah. so it doesn't fit much. But there should be trash cans around. We were just waiting until we could fill a couple bags and then we're gonna take it, but yeah. it's gotten a little out of hand. I promise we're really not this much of slobs. Usually we keep this very spotless. Yeah. Did you see the herd of cows out there? Yeah, I've been watching them. They are freaking living their best life out here, you guys. Well, I was thinking that uh, we probably shouldn't spend the entire time playing games and watching movies. As tempting as that is, since it's a new year, I've been really wanting to get back into language learning. So I've been using the Rosetta Stone app to learn French, and uh, we just wanted to give them a huge thanks for partnering with us on today's video and supporting the channel. Wait a minute. I'm feeling a little strange. Sacre bleu! Rosetta Stone fonctionne bien. Regardez-moi! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> In the past, we actually did a full on year of intensive French training in a class in San Francisco. And it was really freaking difficult, you guys. We had to go there and show up to lessons. And if you missed it, you wouldn't get your money back. And I was by far one of the slowest learners. <laughs> and it was very embarrassing for me. And needless to say, that isn't really something that we can keep up when we're on the road and traveling. But with Rosetta Stone, you can learn anywhere. And the lessons are super immersive. They have audio from native speakers. They have stories and dialogue that you can participate in. And since it's native speakers, you really understand the pronunciation and can feel confident speaking the language. But my all-time favorite feature is the built-in voice recognition. So you can speak directly to the app and it lets you know how well you're pronouncing the word. You can get a lifetime of learning with Rosetta Stone's lifetime subscription, which is now over 60% off. Each subscription gives you lifetime access to their immersive lessons, their learning tools, their live lessons for all 25 languages. Et maintenant, je parle beaucoup français. Merci à Rosetta Stone. This mustache is <laughs> just not working. D'accord, c'est fini. On y va. <laughs> all right, y'all. 
day four and the wind has finally pretty much subsided. But as you saw, things are getting kind of wacky on the inside. We got trash piling up. I'm going on four days of not washing this hair. Dry Yikes. shampoo can <laughs> only do so much. It's getting a little wild. I have a solution for that. <laughs> we found this at Walmart. It seemed very appropriate, y'all, because now it doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm telling you, it's a bad hair day. <laughs> so don't come at me. And it feels good to finally be getting out into it, you guys. There's so much to do and see in this area, it's nuts. Yeah, but today we can get out and actually breathe and not just inhale a bunch of dust. Yeah, I actually lost my suction cup mount for this GoPro here, so you should see the way I rigged this thing up. Duct tape to the rescue. <laughs> I actually duct taped the GoPro to a roll of duct tape. <laughs> there are tons of awesome off-road trails around this area, and we've been wanting to get into off-roading a little bit, but we are incredibly novice at it. We've barely even done it. So we found a trail that should be absolutely stunning. It's slightly challenging, but most people said that it's a beginner trail. It's only like four or five miles, but takes a while to get through. It'll be a nice little intro into it, and hopefully yeah. we won't get stuck. <laughs> yeah. y'all there's a giant boulder on the trail <laughs> this is actually one of the features of the trail this boulder must have fallen off the cliff above it ages ago it fell perfectly so that there's a nice little path you can get through as long as your vehicle isn't too large <laughs> this is the roughest the road's been so far <laughs> we made it through the boulder we did it and it didn't fall even more on us <laughs> like to be driving under that pile of boulders when it fell. I would not like it at all. <laughs> Ruby would be completely buried and crushed. And us too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> When we decided to do this week off grid, we weren't sure what we were gonna do with the trash. I kind of halfway expected us to be piling it in Ruby, but it turns out that the group campsite that we stayed at on our first night has a big dumpster there. So we're gonna go take our very stinky trash. We go... also have to take our very stinky pee. Yes. <laughs> That's pee in there, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's a vault toilet up there. We put it in a bag to kind of spare you guys, but yeah. yeah. Oh, the glamorous <laughs> life off grid. All right, just like that. Done. We've been actually trying to make a very small amount of trash on this week off grid, but it's kind of impossible. Just like the packaging from all the food, that's the real culprit. We could have gotten it all fresh, <laughs> I guess, but it wouldn't have lasted the yeah. whole week. We so did get some fresh stuff yeah. though. Now you're dumping the pee, right? <laughs> oh man, I didn't realize that was the trade off. You're so good at it. This is one of the nicest pit toilets I've ever seen. Yeah, look at this. It's spotless and no graffiti. All right. All right. Have fun. Okay, no, again, I won't. I know I've said it before, you might think that the like number twos are the worst part about off-grid. It's definitely the pee. Pee yeah. is so gross. Should we camp here for the night? Is this your home now? Yeah. Well, that's a perfectly Allison-sized hole. Yeah. <laughs> Man, back in the day, I totally would have lived here, you know, yeah. like thousands of years ago. This tiny little cave would have been your home? Yeah, I would have drawn all kinds of cool artwork in here, mostly of me doing this. You know, the weather just keeps getting better and better every day. I'm in a tank top and I'm still warm. Although last night was pretty freaking cold. Whew, yeah. We had to use a lot of our propane, sadly. Yeah, it keeps snowing at night too. It's such a it mind, what's a... Mind f Yeah, I was trying not to say that. <laughs> but anyways, we got out kind of early today and did a freaking amazing hike. We're doing the Grand Staff Canyon Trail. It follows this amazing Red Rock Canyon. There's this water running through it. You have to do multiple river crossings. The rocks in these canyons are really cool. They have tons of different layers in them that you can see. And it's kind of like sandstone, I guess, or something like that, because the top layers can just like break right off. You got the view from in here, and then you rise right above the canyon. And the view from up there is incredible.
Come on, why don't you move already? How long have you been storing that one up? Every time we pass these cows, I'm hoping they're in the road so I can say that joke. <laughs> what you got going on, babe? You know, I'm starting to trying to light a fire like our ancestors, like the cavemen did it with paper towels <laughs> and a ferro rod. Yeah, I was about to say. It remains to be seen if these paper towels will work for tinder, but I think if I get enough spark in there, this ferro rod sucks. It's the tiniest little thing on the planet and you end up hitting your knuckles. There we go. Yeah. Oh, fire! Now you gotta get the actual fuel oh. in there. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. Ah! Do you feel like Tom Hanks right now? Where's Wilson? Wilson! That's all I got. <laughs> it's weird, fire can be so hard to get going, but sometimes when it gets going, it can be so freaking hard to put out. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty deep, babe. Pretty profound. Mm -hmm. And I'm only a half a beer deep, so. <laughs> We have been waiting all week to sit out here, chill, and have a fire, and today is the day. The wind has finally died down. It's not super cloudy and cold. So when we woke up, our uh, propane level was at about 40%, according to the gauge there. So we're feeling okay about that. Hopefully it doesn't go out in the middle of the night. Electricity was down to 40% as well. We haven't really checked up on it, but there has been a little bit of sun today. So hopefully that went up 10 or 20%. And the gray is also up to 40. So everything's kind of 40 across yeah. the board. Yeah, except the fresh water. The fresh water is at about 68, 60 five percent something like that so yeah. we're doing all right so we got a lot of time left but we're doing all right for now yeah, a few days left and a few days worth of utilities it's gonna be great i just realized one thing we haven't talked about is just how stanky we're getting <laughs> you guys we might do another hike tomorrow i don't know i don't know if i'm just like embracing the grossness well you guys know we were in a freaking dust storm so we're dirty from that <laughs> and now you're hanging out at the fire so we're gonna smell like fire for the rest of the time we have our baby wipes though so we might just do a little baby wipe shower Plus, yeah, I've we'll been see. doing that daily, sir. I don't oh, know about you. Have? you. I haven't yeah. done that yet. Was I supposed to be doing that? Well, then who's the gross one? Yeah, well, it's my... definitely me. <laughs> Look at this feast we created, you guys. Yes. Well, we have our perfectly roasted sausages here. We got some zucchini and squash, and then an obscene amount of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> One problem we may have is this is all the water that we've got. Drinkable water, anyway. We don't feel comfortable drinking the water from our tank, because if you guys remember back in the day, we had some sort of bacterial or fungal growth in there. It smelled very bad. We had to bleach it all and treat it all. It doesn't smell anymore, but I don't like the combination of maybe lingering bacteria and bleach. We do have one more beer. Yeah, and there's water and beer, so we're, yeah. we're good. But we are watching another movie. We've decided on Savages. Oliver Stone. We're specifically not checking the Rotten Tomatoes rating, all right? We're refusing. We're just going to watch these movies. We already watched Traffic, and it was bomb, so. It's great. I feel like I'm back in the days of Blockbuster, where we yeah. just, like, picked a random DVD, and this is what we're watching. Off-grid day, what is it? I'm delirious. I don't even know what day five. it is. Five. Five. Day Only five. That's pretty good. two days left, yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's transition somehow. Put your hand on the camera or something. <laughs> asleep? No, I'm not asleep. Mm -hmm. I slept horribly last night. I think I just started to feel really, really dirty because I haven't showered in so long. And then it was just so freaking dark last night for some reason. Like I woke up and I couldn't see anything. I thought I was in the void of the darkness or something. I thought I was on the other side. You guys, my scalp just, my hair hurts. And I kept <laughs> smelling that campfire. And then I started dreaming about showering. And then I woke up and all I could think about was the propane, the water, how much my head hurts. How many days do we have left? I mean, technically this is our last full day. I think theoretically we should stay out here all day tomorrow as well. Uh, <laughs> but I think this is going to be our last day. Day yeah. six. We might, uh, we're making the rules here, you know, we might, uh, call this the last day. I decided I've waited long enough. I need to take a shower. We have an on-demand water heater, but what happens is it starts out cold and it heats it after about 10 seconds, maybe more. So when you initially turn it on, you waste a bunch of water because it's freezing cold. So I figure I'll start running the water into our little jugs here. It'll heat up halfway through and then I'll get hot water in all these jugs and I won't have to fiddle with turning the water off and on, off and on in the shower. So plastic water jug shower. Keeping it classy. At least I'll be freaking clean, you guys. I mean, like, what is, this is so gross. I think you still look great, kid. <laughs> Thanks. Ah! <laughs> How's it going in there? It's really hard to pour a jug of water on yourself. 
But it's nice and warm. I already feel like a new woman. Do you want to do a little demo? No, that's for our <laughs> other channel. Our OnlyFans? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so clean. I feel so good. You did it. Now, being able to shave, that'll really take it to the next level because there's hair growing in places I do not need it to be growing. <laughs> but for now, you are clean. I'm so clean, I feel so much better. Well, y'all, this has been another kind of chill, lazy day. We went out for a nice little walk, did some exploring, took showers. I feel so much better. But the real culprit is that we made a huge mistake. We decided to play Spirit Island, and y'all, this is a bohemoth of a game. Bohemoth? Yeah, that's how you say it, right? Man, look at this game, you guys. It has taken us like three hours just to go through like two turns. It's a lot, and I feel like we're doing everything wrong. Yeah. We just poured ourselves a nice glass of wine. Ding. I think we are going to give up on this pretty quickly here, because we're yeah. there's zero chance that we're finishing it no. tonight. We are out of all of our fresh food, so it's down to the freezer aisle. Yeah. <laughs> so it's either pizza or chicken nuggets. I think we're doing pizza. <laughs> It's official, we have made it. Seven days off grid in Clementine. Well, today is the seventh day, but we feel like this experiment has run its course. We are ready to go back to civilization now. <laughs> I'm ready to clean myself, to clean Clementine, to oh, just reset. Felt a little bit like a prison sentence if that prison sentence was kind of like a, a vacation where you get to hike and you know hang out and watch a lot of movies. But we still want to go back to civilization, get coffee, go to good restaurants. It'll be really nice to let somebody else prepare our coffee and meal for us. Yeah. It honestly wouldn't have been that bad. It's just a like, lack of showering ability and then cleaning up you had to be so sparse so i felt like everything just kind of had a nasty film on it all of our dishes they never quite got clean none of our surfaces they were all covered in dust the whole time i feel like if we had one of those secondary tanks where you can use it as a black or a gray tank and we could set it underneath and then have almost double the gray tank capacity then we could stay out here for much much longer probably yes. take proper showers but seven days i think that was a nice amount of time but most importantly we've proven that should there suddenly be a zombie apocalypse we'll just get everything filled up drive off into nowhere and last as long as we possibly can or at least one week longer than you all yeah. <laughs> so ultimately water is down to about 40 percent which we are very surprised by the gray is the real problem. That is up to close to 85, and really, we probably can't even fill that tank to 100, so that's probably the max that we want to put in there before it overflows. Yeah. We just checked the propane. It is hovering at about 25%, which is pretty dang good. Yeah, but maybe the lowest we've ever gotten it. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of heat running. We cooked a lot of meals. Man, that tank lasts a long time. A long time. But the real surprising thing was solar. We are at about 45% right now, and that's the lowest that it's gotten. There's been just enough sun to keep it between like the 40 to 60% range. Theoretically, that power could last forever. I mean, that's running our fridge it's running all our lights we didn't use any of our backup power stations or anything all right moab is about 30 40 minutes that way so that is where we're headed yeah i promise we're gonna get out and explore everything y'all yeah. <laughs> all right civilization here we come goodbye adventures <laughs> we'll see you on the road